Revelation 3370. From the 17th of December 1944. Vitality. Powerlessness. Power supply. Through strength there will only becomes action, therefore strength must first be imparted to the being, which is to let its will become active, as long as it does not of it itself. And there is a state of powerlessness and a state of fullness of power for the beingness, depending on its spiritual nature. In the state of powerlessness, therefore, the being is incapable of performing an act in spite of its will, but in the state of fullness of power it can continuously let its will become an act, and this is a state of perfection, of bliss and thus of godlikeness. Nevertheless, even in the state of imperfection, where it cannot freely dispose of power, the beingness does not need to be inactive, because it itself has the possibility to acquire power. This is especially true for the last time of its development on earth and also in the spiritual kingdom. On earth it constantly draws strength as long as it lives, that is, life itself is already a process of transmitting strength which becomes recognizable by the possibility of carrying out its earthly activity. Without strength the being, which is now embodied in the human being, would not be able to accomplish anything. He can therefore continue to be active during his earthly life, carrying out every action according to his will, as far as this lies within the realm of possibility. The human being should now use this strength in order to acquire the actual strength to one day be able to be active in the spiritual kingdom. For spiritual strength is different from vitality, even though the source of strength is the same. The eternal deity, who wants to snatch your beings from the state of weakness. The human being's vitality ceases with his physical death but the spiritual strength remains the being's own even in the spiritual kingdom if he has acquired it on earth. And therefore the being, which neglected the latter on earth, falls into the state of weakness again after its physical death, which is unspeakably agonizing for the being because it had previously known the state of strength and yet it can still acquire the supply of strength in the spiritual kingdom but then its will has to strive for it. It first has to submit to the divine law of love, otherwise the strength cannot be imparted to it in the spiritual kingdom. But as long as it does not do so it will remain powerless, it will be incapable of exercising its will and for the most part this will is also so weak that it will remain completely apathetic in its powerless state in utmost agony and wretchedness. Yet the beings which are in fullest abundance of strength do not leave those beings in their distress because they are urged to give their strength to those who need it. However, the transfer of strength can only take place if the beings fulfill God's demand, if they decide to serve with love of their own accord. A great deal of work must therefore be done on these poor beings before the transfer of strength can take place. They must be instructed and made aware of their task in the spiritual kingdom. Their hitherto wrong thinking must be correctly directed and thus the basis must first be created for the beings to change to love, because they cannot receive the strength until they decide of their own accord to use the strength flowing to them to work with love. Only then is the transmission of strength possible. And therefore the possibility is always open to imperfect beings to procure strength in order to then also put their will into action, for only when their will becomes active is the being in the spiritual kingdom happy, just as the state of powerlessness is always a state of agony, for the beingness was originally created to be able to create and shape in fullest freedom according to its will and only the original state is a state of bliss for the spiritual being, which is therefore the goal of all beingness as long as it has not yet become a direct recipient of strength from God and can therefore absorb and also release strength in all abundance. Only then is the being perfect and has reached its goal. It has joined the original power from which it originated. Amen.